Hey there, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters, and I'm going to try to get caught up on my what sold on eBay videos within the next, I don't know, maybe a week. Um, so I'm going to start with, um, I have about 12 or 13, I forget, items that I didn't show you from my October sales. So I'm going to go all the way back to October and start there. And so that's what this is, is just getting caught up. So this first item is a Bible. This is a King James Version um, blue leather bound vintage Bible from 1972. Um, it was in really nice condition. It had blank presentation pages. Um, I like to find Bibles that have the blank presentation pages. Um, not that having writing on the pages is necessarily a bad thing though because sometimes people are looking for those. So if there is names on these I try to list those in the um, item descriptions. But um, this one happened to be blank, which is good. It did have a name on the front. Let's see. So I listed that. It said Richard K. Heath. So I did list that in the item descriptions so that in case somebody knows that person and they were looking for maybe something of his. There it is. Um, so that I purchased at a thrift store for $3 and it sold for $20 plus shipping. Alright, this is a pair of Ray-Ban eyeglasses that I actually sniped off of eBay for $9. And they sold for $49.95 free shipping. Um, they were in really nice condition. Now these are not sunglasses, these are prescription Ray-Ban eyeglasses. And so there is a little bit of a difference between when you're looking to authentic authenticate um, Ray-Bans, there's a little tiny bit of difference between the sunglasses and the prescription eyeglasses. And I'll try to make a video about that sometime. It's really kind of interesting. But these were prescription eyeglasses by Ray-Ban, as you can see there. And like I said, they sold for $49.95. Alright, this was a really cool sale. This was actually um, a scrapbook that we found in a storage unit that was full of antiques. And um, this was a very well put together scrapbook from the um, late 40s, early 50s from somebody's like high school years. It was really neat. I mean, it had everything in it from um, their little um, certificate that they got, you know, their lunch card. It had their driver's learner's permit, I mean just everything, all kinds of cool stuff, tons of photos, I think I counted like over 350 photos. Um, unfortunately the photos were glued to the page and so um, you know I could have gone through and sold these photos individually but it would have taken forever and I really thought it was such a neat piece of history and I didn't want to break it up so I decided to sell it all as one. I had it listed on eBay for a long time, I finally lowered the price down I had lots of offers, people making me offers, and a lot of people were making me an offer of about, you know, $100 or so. And so I finally lowered the price down to $150, and it sold. So that we found in a storage unit, and it was really, really neat. I mean, they had names written down for almost all the pictures, um, dates and locations. It was just a fabulous scrapbook. It was a lot of fun to look through. All right, this is a set of two patches. And these were um, like um, embroidered patches. And they were kind of large. I think they were about four inches, five inches long. So they were kind of large um, patches. These I also found in a storage unit, um, in a different storage unit. And they sold for $29.95. And then this is a set of Libby wine glasses, also came out of a storage unit. I believe the same storage unit as the patches where we found these. There was tons of glassware in one of the, um, there, there's all these plastic bins just full of different colors of glassware. And um, we sold a lot of it on Craigslist because we didn't want to mess with shipping. But this was one set that I decided to list on eBay and that sold for $25 plus shipping. Okay, so this is an Oakley eyeglass case. This is metal. This is 
I think the second one of these that I have found and sold on eBay. Um, they're called, lots of times they're called like a pillbox or a torpedo or a metal, metal vault. And um, they're pretty popular. They usually sell pretty quickly. So if you ever see these, go ahead and grab them up. It doesn't matter if they're scratched up. This one was all scratched up. I think this one was actually in better condition than the last one that I sold. And the other one, I think I sold it for $25. So definitely grab those if you see them. They always sell really well. And that sold for $22 free shipping. All right, this was a very tall um, candle holder. It was made in India. Oh, no, this one was made in Taiwan. It was 17 inches tall, so it was very large. Um, as you can see, it had really cool detail. And all these pieces came apart, so it unscrewed at every piece, so you could adjust it to different heights and things. So it was really neat. And that's the bottom. I found this at a thrift store, actually at the Habitat for Humanity Restore for $5. And it sold for $40 plus shipping. And it was solid brass. Okay, and this is a little footstool. It was a rocking footstool. So this was for like when you're sitting in a rocker. Um, so it kind of rocked with you. Um, it was really neat. It was in great condition. The wood was really pretty as you can see. Even the upholster was nice and clean. So that was the original upholster on there. Um, this is probably the fourth or fifth little footstool that I've sold on eBay. They sell really well, so I always keep my eyes open for them. I usually find them in like the furniture section of a, th of, um, a thrift store. And so I always keep my eyes open for these old footstools. As you can see, it's a real pretty wood in very nice condition. And that I purchased for $4 at a thrift store, and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Okay, this is a pair of Gucci prescription eyeglasses. These I paid $0.75 cents for, um, and a dollar for the case. And they sold for $50, so that was a really nice sale. You can see the G there on the front. Right there, little Gucci G, and then also it had the name on the inside of the arm. You can see that Gucci, and also there on the hinge again. And this is a pair of Nine West prescription eyeglasses. They had the clip-on shades. These I paid two dollars for at a thrift store. Um, the shades were in really nice condition. They weren't scratched up at all. And those sold for $30 plus shipping. And I did have a Nine West case to go with them. So that was nice. And all right. Okay, here's another Bible. I purchased this Bible for a dollar at the hospice thrift store. Um, this one was a 1957 hardback and in perfect condition. I think it did have some writing, yeah. It was signed um, on the front page, and that's it. Other than that, it was in really, really nice condition. It had really nice maps in the back. The binding was all really nice and tight. And that sold for $20 plus shipping. Okay, this is a pair of Naughty Lipstick prescription eyeglasses. I found these um, for $0.75, cents, and they were really pretty. They had kind of a flower design etched in the side there. And that was a brand that I had never heard of, but I decided to list them anyways, even though they weren't really a popular brand because they were really well made. So there's where it says lipstick. I think lipstick was the name brand and Naughty was the model name. I'm not sure exactly, but anyways, they sold for $30, so that was a great sale. And then my last thing that I'm going to show you today is something that my husband found, and he found this at a thrift store for $9, and it was a roll of the waterproofing membrane stuff that they use in showers. It was a lot. It was like 94 feet. So only a, a few feet had been cut off of it. I think it was like, 
originally like 110 or something. So it wasn't missing very much of it. It was almost completely there. Um, these sell, the new rolls I think sold for like 300 and some dollars. And so we listed that for 175 plus shipping and it sold. So that was a great sale. And you can see it was a, almost a complete roll. It was a really good find. And the cool thing was is that somebody had actually marked how much was in there. <laughs> oh, see, it was 100 feet. So only six feet were gone out of, off this roll. So it was practically complete. All right, so that's all I have to show you for today. I'm going to um, wrap this up and get it posted, and then I'll try to get... Um, my November sales started here within the next few days and I'll probably do, I'll probably break that up into two or three different videos um, just so that they don't get so long. And um, thanks again for all your love and support and prayers and God bless and take care.